was way, way back there. But, uh, probably fifth grade, hearing uh, Rafael Mendez on my parents' stereo, like digging my ear up into the speakers to hear that guy's incredible technique. And even though I was already a clarinet player then, it made me want to play trumpet. <laughs> so I just kept playing clarinet and adding other instruments, but kept trying trumpet. And now, all those many, many years later, I still enjoy playing the trumpet, even though it wasn't my major instrument. Uh, drums came naturally, and I always heard music in my head, and I got to hang out with just amazing players that were just magical. And so guitar, I was melted by Jimmy Weibel's guitar things. I'd melted by Jimmy Rolls and Bob Harrington's piano, and, and I got to sit behind them and watch a lot. So it just, I couldn't do it all on drums. It was, there was too much going on in the brain. <laughs> Yeah, that's a good question. Um, the role of the bass is to put the foundation tonality on the bottom of what's happening above, foremost. And then, to per that's like horizontal, right? That's vertical. Then horizontally is to move rhythmically with note choices that really define in like a Bach kind of a way where the harmony is going. That's the real function of the bass in any situation, any style, any genre, okay? The rest is icing on the cake. I mean, you could have a fabulous bass player and he wouldn't play any solos, but the band would love him or her because they provided that role, you know, of providing the, uh, the the, the fundamental pitch to define all the juicy stuff that's on top and then this this propulsion rhythmically with really good note choices to, that keeps defining where the real motion is going yeah yeah good that's great for me guys Thank all you. right thanks for having us yeah Thank you.